Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D. And today, today, what are we gonna do today? Uh, you know what, I start packing for, actually today I start packing for uh, the first, uh, this year, first plane air competition. And I have five or six this year that I um, applied to and I was accepted. Even though I don't like, I don't really like uh, competition, those plane air competition, just too much stress. But at the same time, it's cool to um, just to be around, you know, the artists and chill and have, you know, have uh, conversations, just talking and so on and so on. It just, it's just nice to be together. So, so I was preparing for uh, for the trip next week, and I got a bunch of frames. Uh, made some canvases for um, to make sure I have enough uh, canvases uh, and everything like supplies, everything that I need for competition. And I just remember that I promise to um, do a review, or I don't like the word review. So I promise to talk about the easel that I'm using for the past. Uh, three years and that easel is this Day Tripper um, by Josh Bean um, the site that you can check this easel is prolificpainter.com it's actually you know the stamp on the, on the back so we're gonna talk about this easel why this easel is number you know in, in the number one for me uh, you know in all good stuff so Let's get you right started. Here we go. So as I said, we're gonna talk about Day Tripper by Josh Bean. Uh, there's uh, several points that I love to do uh, when I uh, talking about uh, supplies, uh, art supplies, especially easels. So we're gonna talk about design. That's number one. Uh, number two will be uh, material or materials that you know is used for to build this easel and next one number three will be ease of use how easy to use or how fast you can set it up number four will be um, just overall overview of overall or summarizing and number five will be actual cost and lead time uh, I know lead time right now is like crazy because the materials are getting crazy expensive I just went to a local supply house and I did this. I just couldn't even like comprehend why. I mean, I understand why the prices are going up, but you know, it's just crazy. So let's talk about this easel. Day Tripper by Josh Bean or prolificpainter.com. So let's talk about design. Number one, design. This is probably the reason why um, this easel is number one on my, on my list, or why I'm using it for the past three years, even though I have about five or six, seven uh, easels uh, in my studio, and I try them, use them for several months maybe, uh, and move to the next one, and move to the next one, and move to the next one, until I got this one. And then I, I'll be honest with you, at some point I actually kind of gave up this. The reason why, I just want to test something else. And then after testing some other easel, I actually came back to this and said, you know what, this is the easel I want to paint on. Unless someone will come with like different ideas and so on and so on. But I already modified this easel and we'll talk about modification as well. Design is very, very uh, uh, smart. Can I say smart design or awesome design? Uh, awesome design, bad design, smart design, stupid design? I'm not sure. But anyway, design is perfect. That's why this is number one. So, okay, so let's go back to design. All right, so um, Josh didn't invent the wheel. So it's uh, the easel is a very simple design. It's a box, as you can see, the box with two panels that you can open on, you know, on both sides. And uh, that's it. So it's like a regular Peshat box, uh, optional box, Peshat box, uh, or pallet box, I would say, not Peshat box, the pallet box. But what he did special. All right, so let's talk about special designs. Uh, special designs, how this easel is actually mounted on tripod or you know, how we can use it. There is two brackets right here, you can see it over here. 
two brackets that actually use um, or work as the holders for tripod holders or grabbing the uh, or hugging what I call uh, the um, tripod. There is two knobs on both brackets so all we have to do just unlock both knobs and then uh, swing them to left and to the right and each knob or each uh, bracket has actually stopper right here it's a 90 degree stopper so when you swing it to open it's gonna stop that stop because it's actually this uh, uh, piece of the bracket is actually working against the uh, the whole you know panel and it's stopping so all you have to do is just swing them open they have both of them they have hooks you can see the, uh, not hooks like yeah it's hooks probably uh, facing inside and this is where your legs not your legs but tripod legs uh, are going so basically you open you lock the legs this is your tripod and what you have to do is just drop uh, the easel between these two legs the tripod legs like this and this is it so this is how it works the very easy very smart uh, awesome design also as you can see there is uh, two additional holes on both sides of the easel so you basically what you can do you can unscrew completely unscrew and I'll show you make sure so you can unscrew the knob completely and just move it to the next hole and screw it back and then by uh, enlarging the distance between the legs the easel will drop lower so if you want to lower it let's say you painting uh, you're sitting on a chair you want to lower the and or spread the legs higher all you have to do is just move the uh, uh, the brackets to the to the end and that, that's that's all so let me put it back and it's very easy you just unscrew and move it to the to the next hole and just screw it back like this uh, knobs are not too big not too small and i like that i like it very much it's not on the way um and just easy all right so this is one um, one of the uh, kind of goodness of the design uh, the you know the uh, pros of this design uh, also when you open the box everything and I, I love this because the size of the sides it's literally half inch uh, so it's not really high like on Strata which is I like when I'm using Strata I, I, it's annoying because uh, of the one inch high of the sides uh, this is literally half inch also the panels uh, panels open at the top right here as you can see there is no bracket and there is a bracket or stopper uh, this this is actually aluminum um, uh, aluminum quarter uh, and he included it on the left side at, at, at the bottom so you can put the brushes or you can put anything you want and this side is working as the as a stopper for example on uh, like luxury easel like open uh, uh, open box M there is no stopper on the side and every time I <laughs> I used it several times and my brushes were falling and I was like okay this is not this is ridiculous all right for the luxury box you know not even thinking about this so Josh good job on this also inside I actually took it out there is a uh, four screws inside I took them out this is my kind of part of modification uh, the box comes with a string it was a um, uh, keychain and um, kind of loop. So basically, what you can do, you can uh, hook it on one screw, run it over here, and you can. There's a, a keychain where you can hang your uh, chirp uh, canister or brush washer. I did some modification for this because it's. I, I think it's just not a really good idea, and my chirp fell several times. So this is all about design. So very easy. Uh, to close, close this, unlock, unlock, swing close, and lock the bracket, and that's it. So, on the back, only the stamp, everything is flat. This is my modification, so do pay attention to this for, for right now. So, so this is all pros. So let's talk about cons. 
on this design. Well, first of all, um, when I got this box and I you know, opened it first time, this is what I got. Boom. So there is no basically stoppers to stop the panels to open. Um, really annoying. So this is one kind of flow of the design. Uh, and all, you know, Josh, all you have to do is just extend this bracket so the tips, just make it longer so the tips will go over the panel and lock the, uh, you know, two, two sides and that's it. So it's just, just, just small thing. Also, I have a modification how to deal with this. That's the first. Uh, the second is just uh, the string to hold your uh, paper towel and, and the turp. I think it's the flow. Some people say that's awesome. Uh, some people say it's awesome, but I lost that string and I cannot use it. <laughs> so uh, I didn't lose it. It's actually, I think I, I, it's in my, somewhere in my bag, but it just was annoying to take it out and prep it. And, um, so I came with a different idea and we'll talk about this later. So this, this is only two um, kind of cons on, you know, on, this, on the design of this easel. So from one to 10, I would give probably nine to this design. I would love to give 10, but you know, not able to lock the panels and um, that string is, I will knock one point out. So I will give nine uh, from one to 10. So this is, this will be all about design. Also, when you open, not all, when you open the panel, right or left, let I just open one. Uh, this is actually um, like a royal or royal uh, hinge, just long painted black. Uh, I think this is, this is good because uh, when you open this, it's really, that stop on 180 degree. So I love this. Sometime on other easels you're opening and it's like, you know, it's flimsy. You see actual hinges is kind of working out. Uh, you know, you can easily pull it out. This is very strong. Um, if you step on this, hinge is not gonna break. The whole thing is gonna break. Probably this is gonna break, but not the hinge. Um, overall, also it's, I think it's glued because I see some pieces of uh, wood and panel. I don't see any nails uh i was looking to the nails i don't see it so i'm assuming the whole thing is actually glued together and then painted so this is good uh, i like and we'll talk about materials the uh the weight of this easel is like a feather and not feather like an iron feather um no i'm kidding it's just very light very light the size of the easel is i think it's a 17 and a half by uh, about 12, which is really good size. When you open this easel, look at this real estate of the mixing. It's like huge. I don't have any other uh, easels that can give me this uh, state, estate or real estate or size of the mixing board. So the huge plus, but still, from one to 10, I will give nine only because, you know, the panels are not, not closed and locking. There's no mechanism for locking the panels and that string for, uh, I think if you, if, if you would just send this without the string, it will be probably much better because people want to be, uh, you know, people will be thinking about how to modify it or just offer some accessories, extra accessories. I guess, you know what, I guess this, this is, can be considered as accessory, right? So he's shipping accessory free. So should we raise it from nine and a half? Maybe. So let's give nine and a half. Josh, your easel got it on design, nine and a half stars. You got it. The next point is materials. Uh, actual materials that he used for or using for this easel. And this is where I like, I understand I understand this easy cost only 300 bucks um, and he's making a, uh, this easel in, in his garage or unless that's what I know, unless he opened, you know, like a uh, shop somewhere. Material is very, very cheap. And that's probably the reason why uh, the, the cost of the, this easel is only $300. Uh, so the craftsmanship and materials are cheap. 
And you may ask, you know, what, that, what does it mean, cheap uh, craftsmanship? That's exactly what I mean. I mean, he, Josh is not a cabinet maker, all right? He's an artist and he built this, this easel for probably for himself and then realized people maybe were asking him like, wow, can, I, can you build it for me? And he started maybe, I'm just speculating. I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure how it started, but I know, you know, he's not cabinet maker. He's not professional carpenter. So there is definitely, you know, flows. You can see that this easel was made in the garage by artist. But this is, in the same time, it's the beauty of this easel. Uh, so it's not like, you know, made on uh, CNC or uh, wood CNC or computer or metal shop or whatever, like a Strata or, you know, like you go, you know, it's, it was, you, you, you go, you're looking at like, wow, it's, it's a, like awesome CNC machinery and it's looking great, but it's like, you know, machinery. This has a little bit of mm, that, you know what I'm talking about, luxury of handcrafted, you know, uh, unit. So materials are cheap. Uh, one thing that I have to give, uh, give him a credit, the brackets. I'm not sure who is making those brackets for him, but they are made very well. I actually ordered, because I was working on a similar easel and, uh, you know, I'm not advertising anything, but probably in a month or two, uh, I will announce uh, easel that is actually a combination of like three easels together and, and I'm kind of finishing it and I was actually I have a shop and I have another shop right next to my business and they actually it's actually you know kind of metal machinery shop and they they did several of these brackets and every time they failed because I, I was comparing to this and I was like you know, I don't know uh, where he's ordering it, but it's it's good piece of uh, uh, good piece of equipment or material. Uh, same with the knobs, uh, and that's it, basically. Uh, everything else is very very cheap. The the corners right here, like from Home Depot, aluminum corners painted. Uh, it's actually riveted. The angles are riveted to plywood, uh, cheap plywood. Uh, you can see that it was cut it uh, on a table saw, I guess, uh, and then sand it by hand. But at the same time, it's it's it has a you know it has it has its touch. You know? I know Josh was working on it, so it's like awesome. You know, he's he was building it just for me. All right. Um, other than that, and also the uh, it's handmade, obviously handmade in his shop. Uh, handmade. I mean handmade. I mean, guys, handmade. Okay, <laughs> like handmade, and also hand spray. Uh, just kind of black uh, matted or glossy, uh, semi-gloss paint spray, and I guess. Uh, but again, you know, it has a touch of handmade, uh, just just special touch. So I just love it. I'm actually about to order another one, just for just for fun. So I have another one, even though I have you know my own easel will be ready in probably in a month or two months. I just want to order another one. So this is how I like this easel. So this is all about materials. So it's you know materials wise, I will give from ten, I will give probably five or four. Uh, but if you take care of this easel, it's gonna serve you for a long, long time. I've seen this easel, like people abusing them and it's like trashing and they complain like, oh, this is, yeah, dude, if you abuse it, I mean, you're paying $300 for this. If this was made from really good materials, this will cost probably $600. Now for $600, people will probably take care of those easels, right? Because they pay 600 bucks. For three hundred dollars, uh, I can abuse it. Now, this easel, as I said, three years old. Sometimes when I paint with other artists, they're like, "Oh, you just got this easel?" No, I have this for three years. I'm just taking care of my materials. I just taking care of uh, supplies that they have. I just respect it. Just simple respect to brushes, to you know, to paint, to to everything. No, uh, you no, know, even to myself. Can I say it? I'm not sure. All right, so anyway, materials, very cheap, but that's the reason why, because that's what he's using, um, and it's 
keeping the cost down. So that's, you know, that's positive because the cost is down. But the kind of negative side is it's like cheap materials. But also it's a poplar. I believe this is a poplar. Uh, the size of a poplar, I'm not sure. It's not definitely not birch uh, plywood, some cheap plywood. But the weight, the reason why it's so light, like a feather, um, because the it's a poplar. So this this is cheap materials. Gives you know good good positive uh, points like lightweight and the ability to take care of the seeds. <laughs> so next point will be ease of use. Oh, you know what? This easel actually comes with two pieces. So one piece is actually a pallet, uh, this box, the mixing board. Uh, let me actually um, put another easel. And the second part is this, what Josh called upright. I mean, Josh called it on his website. So I'm gonna call it canvas holder because this is a canvas holder. And canvas holder consists of three pieces, the actual, uh, railing or the main back of the uh, back of the canvas holder and um, with a big channel in right in the middle right here this is a channel that goes from the top to the bottom and two brackets um, and I normally carry the you know the, this upright or canvas holder like this just swing them uh, line up with the uh, actual upright or canvas holder and that's it you can put it in, in your backpack or I'm normally carrying uh, my tripod uh, on the back on the back you have two knobs for each uh, the, the top holder and bottom holder of the canvas all you have to do just untie it a little bit swing it like this tied it and then untie this one and swinging and tied so each one has the channel right here it's routed channel with the angle. So this angle facing down, this facing up. So when you put the canvas, when you slide the canvas, the canvas is not gonna fall. So it has to, because of the angles. And also, if you can see right here, it's actually uh, two screws, just a regular Home, Home Depot, small screws, I don't know what size, and they screw to the uh, bracket. And with a quarter inch space between the bracket and the screw, the top of the head of the screw. So I can show you, let, let me take the panel. So if you can put panel like this, right in the channel. So you can do this, you can do right in the channel, or you can put it right between the two screws right here. And then what you can do is you untie this and put it right between the screws like this, but right between the screws, screw here, screw here, screw here, and screw over here. And this is how it's holding. If you want to put it inside the channel, it's easy. All you have to do, just untie it, put it inside the channel, put it inside the channel. This way, your, um, uh, your brush work will stop right here so you cannot go over so that's a reason uh, I'm I'm never painted inside the channel actually I always you can see it uh, you can see the side the signs of the paint so I always uh, always put my canvas in between the uh, between the uh, screws like this oops it's easy to do when when it's actually on tripod so something like this and then your brush work, you know, you have a space to go over with your brush when you're working with the brush. That's, that is designed, also has a screw right here uh, floating between the channel, this channel opening. And you have, you have ability to actually move this plate, ball head plate, up and down. So, for example, I can take this, let me unassemble. And move the bracket move the bracket up so i can show you that you can you have to unscrew completely unscrew it move the bracket this is a bracket and move it up and then move the ball head plate at the bottom and i'll show you why because i have some modification that we'll be talking about oops and just tied it and that's it so it's very 
very very easy and then <clears throat> you have all this space and the size of this is 18 inches so you can easily can put 18 by 24 18 by 36 whatever this you know um, 18 vertically and whatever you want horizontally and it's very very stable we have to give josh a, a credit for this it's a very very stable system so and this is how it works you just put this right here tied it and it's pull the canvas right here so this is the uh, two pieces of um, two pieces of this easel the pallet uh, the pallet itself and then upright what he called upright or uh, canvas holder he actually on his side he has I think three or four size different sizes the small one this 18 and 24 and i think 36 even 36. so next point and this is point number three will be ease of use so how easy to use actually or how fast uh, we can set it up and i can tell you and this is probably another point uh, why this easel is number one in my studio because i normally if i drive i don't drive and look for something uh, and if I find something I would will, will be painting I normally you know, scouting location and I strongly recommend do, doing the same thing just don't like, oh I like this let me paint this I mean maybe maybe I don't know this is not my workflow I normally scouting location sometimes I will go drive for scouting I don't have my easel all I have just camera or my iPhone and I'm shooting the video and I'm shooting the photographs and then I'm selecting the beauty of uh, using iPhone, uh, as you know, or Android, if you take the photo and you like something about the scenery or motif, you can slide it up and you can see actually in the map uh, location and you can say, okay, this is where I'm going next time to paint. I normally, just, when I'm scouting, I will go several times on the same location, I'll take multi uh, photos, and then if I, and I, I will study, maybe even sketch, and then I will go directly to that location to paint and when i'm going to that location i'm i already know what i'm gonna do so i don't want to waste a minute when i stop my car i grab my bag i want minutes seconds to start painting and that's the reason i this this is my number one easel because it's so fast to uh to set it up okay so basically or literally i can set it up in like less than two minutes so let's say this easel is on my uh in my bag uh and uh, i don't have a canvas and this is how i normally uh carry my um upright i will flip this i will flip this when i'm uh, collapsing my uh, tripod I will lock it like this so it's constantly on my tripod so it's constantly on my tripod if I want to paint all I have to do just unzip my bag pull my easel unscrew this flip I hope you're counting the seconds then all I have to do unlock this swing it open grab this like this swing open this put my canvas take the brushes pull the brushes i'm just imagining i'm pulling brush open the my brushes put my you know can uh, and hang my turp or I'm not using turp so and that's it I'm ready to paint I think it's less than a minute okay I understand when you come you have to find a location I mean you have to find where to paint and on and on and on and on but literally I, I organize everything that everything is in my bag uh, everything is right next to me less than the two like give it two minutes less than two minutes I can paint that is easy and that is the beauty of this season okay ease of use is like unbelievable 10 if i can give 100 from 10 i guess i cannot give 100 on 10 right because 10 is a top uh, but if there is any possibility uh, 
you know the joke about uh, when, what is the right answer from your accountant uh, if you ask him if, he, if you ask him what is a 2 plus 2 uh, the answer from the, your good accountant will be what you need <laughs> not for <laughs> what you need so what do we need from this easel uh, and from ease of use if, if, if scales is 1 to 10 so my answer is what do you need I will give 100 all right this is my point so it's just unbelievably easy to use all right and this will be easy easy of, to use or that's the reason I'm giving 100 from 10 <laughs> uh, of how easy to use or how fast it, we can set it up because I have some modification as well so and that's why it's speeding up the process and this will be the next point to talk modification what can how can, you can modify this easel so let's talk about this my list is actually modification how easy to modify this easel because there is no easels that, that you know you can find on the market that will 100% satisfy your needs always something is missing this easel is getting close to everything that you need but there is some small modification that I made to so that easel number one for me okay first of all it's made from wood so it's easy to modify it's not like strata so you got stuck so oh, everything is wood everything is cheap wood so you're not like uh, open uh, box M is like wow this is you know all red wood it's like uh, if I do something I'm gonna mess up this you can abuse <laughs> no you have to take care of this easel but you can do something and hide and paint and that's it everything is painted all right so let's talk about modification there is no modification on a canvas holder or upright uh, everything is everything is fine the only one modification that would, I would recommend for Josh to um, to make or consider when you're buying a longer like 24 I would put like a uh, spring-loaded hinge right in the center so you can actually you know kind of put it together right in the middle and put it in your bag or leave it on your uh, tripod um, 18 inches there is there is no need uh, and to, to be honest I'm not painting more than 18 by 24 up on plain air uh, so this is more than enough for me so there is no modification on this all modifications are actually on the um, palette box so let's talk about this modification so let's close it and there's only three to be honest which is good because only three so how to work with this it's not you know nothing to lock this very simple go to you go site or edge uh, the company that makes you go uh, and purchase they have it and to be honest i bought my first two i bought from, uh, from the edge uh, uh, company but then i found this just on amazon and this was like two dollars i think or dollar something they are actual nine inches uh rubber bands and it's very simple you go on one side and then you go on the other side and that's it and everything is locked you know when you're putting in the bag it's not gonna open and gonna put all this paint all over the bag or when you when it's somehow open in your car uh, it's not gonna fly you know paint is not gonna fly in your car so this is how you lock the panel so this is number one modification just using the rubber bands to um, to lock the panels uh, modification number two uh, instead of using that string uh, with you know for your paper towel um, and your brush washer I just took just simple screw and this is just I think it's like half inch screw with key uh, ring and then I found a very very small uh, keychain clip uh, actually I found on Amazon and I bought 10 for only like three dollars uh, and screw it it's very easy to screw you can use it actually because it's a poplar you can use your hands to screw it that's so easy but I normally I would recommend just pre-drilling then put a screw put a ring key ring and then key clip or whatever you call it uh, whatever you call it I forgot the name of this um, the clip all right and so what you can do you just put your put your uh, 
can uh, pallet on on the tripod and then just hang as you can see hang your um, brush washer that's it and it's right here to be honest lately for the past two years I'm managing not to uh, and always I will actually recommend not to wash your your brushes I have this only for the end when I finish painting I will clean my brushes so I'm not cleaning my brushes in any like turp or whatever game soul uh, during the painting so I'm, I'm, I want to make sure that, and we'll talk about this in another video make sure you're not soaking your brush with uh, gimp sole or any turps uh, otherwise it, you have running oil and that's where mud is happening so this is modification number two just small screw with a ring then a key ring and then a, a key clip and you can hang your uh, it literally will take you five minutes to install and you have your uh, brush washer uh, attach and no matter what happened it's not gonna fall from that uh, string that it's provided with this easel which I had two accidents with that's the reason I decided to modify it like this okay so this is modification number two and I have another modification again based on based on the accident that I, that I had uh, at one point I was uh, painting with uh, like strong wing not very strong and uh, wind knock out my easel two times and I was really upset the first time and the second time I decided said I have to do something or this is not good for me um, because a lot of times I paint on like open space and wind can pick up really fast so and then I, I, I was thinking how to modify this and this is what I came up with and this is again this is not for you probably will be fine not doing this but if you want to modify it's very easy so I actually insert right here in the back right here on this there is a uh, like a piece of wood right in the front uh, that holds whole canvas and I insert a quarter inch insert screw so basically what is insert screw it actually has the uh, threads outside and actually hole inside quarter inch hole inside with the threads too so you can screw it into your wood and then you can screw, screw whatever you want quarter inch so that's one modification that i did and i installed ball head plate uh, on this so the reason why i can tell you why give me a second and then i have this combination so this is um small rig a uh, company that makes a lot of uh, a lot of stuff for like a photo cameras or cameras or video cameras they have a lot tons of things like my um, ipad um, holder right here which i use it to paint is this piece main piece is from small rig as well they have tons of good stuff so i came up with this so this is basically like a clamp like opens really fast and closes very fast and then I have a ball head, another ball head. So this is a clamp right here, which closes very fast and opens very fast. Then I have a ball head that attached to this clamp, and then I have uh, basically the ball head, that's it. So one piece, then I have another piece right here, which is um, just quarter inch to quarter inch uh, adapter, and then the ball head. So what I do with this, I actually bolt this on my tripod like this tied it tied it make sure you're not breaking the because it's a fiber and then i have my easel or pallet with my plate and basically it's attached to this ball head and i can adjust any level on this easel so if i need to lower it let's say sun is shooting from this side and it's actually catching the uh sun you know the palette catching sun uh, and i don't want to make sure make sure my palette is not getting any sun sunlight so it's in the shed i can tilt it like this i can tilt like this i can you know i can do a lot of things like this whatever whatever you want so it's it works as as like traditional uh small shot box so this is a modification number three that it that i did if you need a list of all the pieces shoot me a comment um, shoot me a message in the comment or go to my site and shoot me a message from my site 
and I'll give you a list of all the materials or I actually I may put uh, actual all the parts in uh, description so this is these are the uh, three um, main modifications that I did on this easel so finally overall <laughs> Overall, oh, it's not final. We have another uh, another item. I'm just looking at the chi chi. <laughs> so overall, I love this easel. Uh, overall, from ten, I will give a nine, and the reason why nine because the cheap materials and just those small thing about design. That's it. But this is the highest point I will I would give to any easels that I have uh, or any easel on the market. Uh, there are specific easels, um, you know, like big easels for field painting. Um, there's, you know, they have some specifics. This is easels for everybody, for beginners, for professionals, uh, for any, you know, season when you, whatever you season in in your journey as an artist. Uh, this is this is this is it. This is the easel. And trust me, Josh is not paying me for this advertising. I'm not his partner, and so on and so on. I actually will be in a couple months. I will be competing with him with this easel. But I just love the touch of his, his craftsmanship, the uh, craftsmanship of this easel. Josh, sorry, uh, I love I love this easel. So it's, it's good. It's all good. Um, so overall nine highly recommended this is overall now about the um, price I already mentioned uh, uh, it costs about 350 with everything and you can customize I think you can order whatever you want palette you want gray glass or you want a glass or if you want a wood uh, I think you can send him and he, he can uh, adjust something for you uh, lead time I think I ordered this um, but I ordered three years ago, so uh, you know, with COVID right now outside, uh, with pandemic, I know the even, even wood just got more expensive. To be honest, I just checked uh, site yesterday, and I don't see any increase in prices. Or he has like stock of wood in his garage, or he's like generous and in not increasing the prices. But I know, you know, I just stopped at Home Depot uh, another day, and I, I look at the lumber and like wow oh my what's going on like or everybody's staying home not traveling and decide to you know renovate the houses but prices are like crazy going up so poplar as well i just checked actually I, this is the reason i stopped at the home depot just to see the price for poplar and the price went up uh and i will check you know, josh's site uh prolificpainter.com and i see the same price as the you know, same price as i bought it Three years ago, this is also about three hundred fifty dollars. Uh, lead time uh, three years ago, it was I think it was couple weeks. Uh, I'm not sure right now. I can shoot him a mess message and ask him what's the lead time right now, but I don't see any message that you know lead time is longer right now. So uh, go to his site. It's actually in the description. Uh, Prolificpainter.com. Shoot him e e email or contact him. He normally replied right away, like right away as a normal businessman, a couple days. <laughs> so overall, great easel, highly, highly, highly recommend. If you need, uh, if you need any any uh, input on how to modify this, uh, please shoot me an email and I will get to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like, or hit the like, hit the bell and uh, stay tuned because a lot of videos are coming also i'm as i mentioned i'm going to plein air competition next week and i will try to shoot a video daily video of how the competition is going because i want to actually open another channel another channel another playlist of those competition i have five or six competition this year it will be probably nice to for um for the people who never com competed you know or participated in competitions uh, plein air competition to see from inside out how we artists are feeling actually when we're competing uh, and painting I, I don't like the actual word competition um, <laughs> I mean we're competing but it's not really competition it's like 
you know, being together, painting together, and having fun, a lot of fun. So I never, uh, you know, when I go to you know competitions, those plein air competitions, I never consider like I'm going to compete. I'm going to practice to compete. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to paint as I paint every day. So there's a really like, and how you can compare painting when one person's painting, lose one person's painting, tied one painting, you know, it's, a, it's, it's art. I mean, uh, if you find, um, you know, the buyer or somebody who likes you or, you know, you know, your, your work, they will buy it. If not, if in those days when, you know, patterns have come to, to buy the paintings and, you know, you didn't have your buyer, don't be upset because it just, you know, just coincident there is your buyer is not in this group, your buyer of this piece is somewhere else. So keep going. So be positive. Um, so I will try to shoot the videos. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of video coming in. And also, if you already subscribed, thank you very much. I always appreciate my subscribers. I just started this channel. I'm having a lot of fun, uh, a lot of good questions, good communication, and so on and so on. I'm just glad um, that you know we can do this channel together and uh, learn from each other and just have fun. So stay tuned, and I will see you, you know, next time. Here we go.